it's easy to get to the dog show because of all of the construction out there, but you probably noticed that major redevelopment around the National Western Complex. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us the latest phase of the Central 70 project and the fire station that will stay the same. Like it or not. I've heard it's a mess. Drive it or not. It's going to be crazy coming up in the future. The roads around the Denver Coliseum sure have seen better days. That $1.2 billion Central 70 project is really getting going. For Brighton Boulevard, it's meant closures, congestion, and new configurations. As construction crews get ready to rebuild the interchange. So we're going to narrow it down to one lane in both directions. The outer lanes here will be closed for six months. It's my first dog show ever. But for dog lovers visiting the National Western Complex today, the construction. It wasn't bad. Perhaps because most of the heavy equipment sat silent Sunday morning. It didn't seem to be that big a deal. But who wouldn't want to brave that construction chaos? Dog people find a way. <laughs> there will be a show. For a chance to see these fluffy faces like, today. Other than the price of parking. <laughs> oh my God. It's Grumpy old man. Even with all that change, though, some things will stay the same, like Fire Station 9. Fire Captain Greg Pixley says it costs too much money, takes too much time to try to relocate an entire station, so it is here to stay. But firefighters are going to have to get a little creative because they're going to be dealing with all the construction, all the detours, just like everyone else. They're already planning those alternate routes, but Pixley says it won't affect response times if you have an emergency and need help. Another station will respond if this one gets stuck. That Central 70 project, by the way, won't be done until 2022, so the barrels and backups aren't going away anytime soon. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. At least you could enjoy the dogs. All right, we want to hear from you. What does your Colorado look like? You can email us at rco at thedenverchannel.com.